Hello, hello, and welcome to AP Vanilla episode four. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, in between episodes, I did quite a bit. As you can see this right here. Yeah, I've I got quite a bit done. Um, let me give you a little tour of what we got going on here. So yeah, you can see this giant white wall. Yeah, it's a pretty big building. Actually, I'll float. Oops, hit the wrong button. There we go. I'm going to fly up and show you just how big this is. Yeah, that right there. That's, and I got a hole in the top. I totally forgot about that. Anyway, I still need that there. I need to be able to get up top one of these days. But yeah, I took over this entire hill. Um, and I'll show you what we got in here. Um, this is going to be my warehouse. Now that blends pass thing that I, that I sold a little while ago, this is where it's all going to go lead into. And, uh, I need to block these off because these actually don't go anywhere yet, but, uh, they eventually will, but everything around here is going to get, uh, funneled from my farms into here. And anybody who has the blends pass can come in here. Why is, why is that slime ball going so slow? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I gotta fix that. I think I know what I did there. Let me run down there real quick and try to fix that. Okay, I got all my stuff back all fixed now. That was dumb. I totally drowned in here because there's no way out. I didn't leave a hole in the top. But now, as you can see, things are going up much, much faster, which means these are gonna start filling up a lot more. And this is just, this isn't very long of AFK. Um, I don't have any redstone in there because I took it all. And then the slimes, there's plenty of that. And oh, it's all coming in right now. Yeah, it's working really well. Um, none of this is going to be full yet because, I mean, this stuff takes forever to get for a mob farm because, you know, not that's not the greatest. But look at this iron. And I also have several, like, blocks of iron, like a couple of double chests full of blocks of iron already. So, yeah, it's working really well. But, yeah, this this whole thing right here is uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of storage in here. So hopefully this is enough to 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 do everything that I need it to do. Um out here, eventually, I'm going to have a room through here, because right through here now is just, uh, it's like one block of normal, like, outside world, and then it goes into where I have five, uh, armors in there, or no, toolsmiths or whatever they're called, weaponsmiths, I don't know what they are, I get, I get a bunch of my tools from them, um, but I'm just using them now to get emeralds and stuff. Back here, I'm going to have, I think this is where I'm going to have my, uh, XP farm, like, I'm going to do the, the kelp farm that, uh, with an enchantment room in there, and there's going to be a whole thing where you can just, like, take something out of a, a furnace and, get like 30 levels of XP and stuff like that. So I got to set all that up still. And then over here, I'm going to build a super smelter. Now this is going to be one of those that will smelt like stacks of things very, very quickly. And I'm going to let people uh, come in here and use it if they've got the blends pass, but they're going to have to pay to get into the super furnace or the super smelter and then the uh, trading hall, the villager trading hall, which I'm going to put in. They're going to be able to use the uh, XP farm free of charge, but I think I'm going to make it so if other people want to come over here, they can come over and just put some diamonds in the thing and then and then go into one of these rooms here. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, for now, um, do I have iron on? I don't have that much iron on me. Let's, I'm going to show you my little secret room here. So this, obviously you can't get anywhere in here. Um, all these are just kind of blocked off right now. And the only real door here is this one right here. Except I've got a little secret panel right back here. Hit that button, close that, run through this door. And it closes behind you. It's just a simple... Uh, like a hidden door thing there it's, it's it's really easy but yeah underneath here is where i've got all of my regular storage this is actually the glass floor because under here i'm going to start building all the farms and we're going to dig this out really you know all the way down probably to bedrock stuff like that i'm going to have a bunch of stuff here i kind of started um digging out a little cactus farm area here i obviously haven't done much with it because uh yeah i ran out of time i've i've it's been it's been too long since i put out a video and uh, i did a lot off camera obviously because i didn't record any of this and it's been it's been a long week um but I got, I got a lot done in here, and then tonight I want to do a few more things. I should probably eat real quick. But yeah, right now, my storage is just, it's a mess. I've got a lot of concrete and sand, or sand and uh, gravel because I've been making tons of concrete. Um, I've just got, I haven't even got any enchantment on any of these yet, except for this one because I bought it that way. Um, I need to do a lot of things. But it's also Halloween on Saturday, and I don't even know this, this might, this video might come out on Saturday. Hopefully it comes out by Saturday. It might come out Sunday or something. I don't know. But we haven't finished that. Uh, we haven't even done. Oops. I should probably get my rockets. That would be helpful if I'm trying to fly and not throw my kelp away. I haven't done anything over in the haunted district in a while, but it has been worked on by other people, which is awesome. Um, I got that maze still there. Still need to do stuff underneath it. I might just leave it for now. Maybe maybe decorate it up later. But the other side of this over here has got a game in it, and kind of want to play it. I don't know if this is going to kill me or not, so I'm going to go ahead and read this. Oh, that creeped me out. I thought it was just a thing, but it's actually it's actually Pumpkinhead, dude. All right, welcome to the Pumpkinhead. Read me first. 
Welcome to the pumpkin head. To play this game, simply stand between the pistons and push yourself to the iron bars so you'll be able to reach the input barrel on your right. When you do it, you will have to wait with the barrel open and you will receive three pumpkins. The goal is to throw the pumpkins into the hoppers that are hidden under the target blocks. Every pumpkin that you land in the hopper will grant you with a diamond that will appear in the reward barrel. Uh, the missed pumpkin will be picked automatically. Please make sure to use the pumpkins provided. Good luck, pumpkin head. Let's, uh, let's do one diamond and get three pumpkins. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Wait, I didn't get any pumpkins. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Um, huh? I think I did this wrong. Let me try this one more time. I think I have to stand over here first. Ooh, I can still reach the barrel. Okay. Okay. This makes more sense now. So we turn around. Okay, I get it now. Oh, you gotta do it faster than that, huh? Okay. Try it one more time. Let's see what happens. Oh, I gotta get... I didn't get any stuff. Okay. So I gotta be quick. God, I'm gonna waste all my diamonds. I only have these ten left. That's not enough. Barely reach it. There we go. Okay, give him diamond. Give him my pumpkins. Turn around. And we're gonna try to throw it. Ugh. I think I got one. I think I got two. Oh, I got two that time. Oh, I only got one. Well, I got one of them back. Let's try it again. I'm gonna do it again. I like this game. There we go. All right, pumpkins. Don't do me dirty. Oh, that was a bad idea. Now I got stuck right there. Mm. No, I lost. Okay, I don't want to do that anymore because I'm just going to throw all of my diamonds to... The, I'm going to give them all of my diamonds away. Just every single one of them. I like it, though. Very good job. Okay, yeah, this place is looking really good. We got a lot of stuff over here. I uh, started doing the the side to this, which is the, the underneath, or the underneath is the, the pumpkin stuff. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this thing now because the pumpkin is under here, so I might have to find a new spot for it. But yeah, we'll see. But yeah, inside here, still absolutely bare. There's nothing in here at all. Yeah, there's nothing. Um, I need to, I need to change that, so let's change it. Brought a lot of stuff with me I don't need over here, so let's just go ahead and put that all back in there. Don't need any of this stuff. Uh, we'll keep the stone just for whatever. But I'm going to need some of these, so let's get rid of that stuff. Okay, so let's make a little maze in here, but first I'm going to need some of these guys. So when you first come in, you're going to come in and you're going to have to uh, get scared. Um, I think you're going to kind of go around a little, little thing over here. Um, maybe I'll darken the windows and make it a little darker in here. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But eventually you're going to work your way up there. And I just realized I don't have any dark oak on me. So I'm going to have to do that because we're going to use dark oak to get stairs and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and make a little like a haunted, haunted house here. Let's see how this is going to work. I think that people are going to be able to explore and kind of like do their own thing in their own order. But I think it's going to try to leave me. Or should I do it where it's like a, not a maze, but it leads you in one direction like an actual haunted house. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just kind of lay out the, the thing first. Um, I'm going to keep it lit up here just so nothing nothing spawns. Let's see. Let's see here. If you come over this way, there's going to be a nice room over here with some, maybe some, some mobs in here just kind of hanging out. Make you think that you're going to get attacked or something. I don't know. I don't really have a plan for any of this stuff. So I guess we'll we'll have to see when we get there. Um... I'm going to have to move all this too, aren't I? Sure am. Let's get rid of this guy first. And put the chests outside. Yeah, let me let me clean up in here real quick. Did I throw stuff? I sure did. Let me clean up real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, that's better. It's all cleaned up now. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a layout of this and uh, see what I can come up with. 
Okay, I fixed those windows. They were over too far, so it looks better from the front now. If we go take a look at it real quick, if you guys remember what it looked like, it was like, oh, I got to fix the upstairs too. But yeah, the upstairs is just too close there. Now it's more, if I can get over here, uh, let me get on the cow. There we go. Now it's much more centered in there, and I should probably put one more uh, spruce thing over there. Eh, we'll figure it out later. We'll figure it out later. So, in here, you're going to come in here, and there's going to be a, a gory scene in here or something. You come over here, and maybe I'll have something kind of jump out, which maybe I'll have it like the redstone area and kind of in there. So you kind of have to come out and like something will pop out at you or something like that. And some more gruesome stuff over there. I don't know. Maybe another another thing will pop out over this way. Maybe we'll we'll make this like a little a little red room, little redstone room over here. And then when you come over here, you're going to have to climb up this thing to get up to the second floor. And when you come up here, there's going to be, I don't know, something else freaking you out over here. And then I think you're going to have to come over here and jump down to get out. Um, kind of land over here. And then there's going to be there's going to be the way out right over here, which goes through the maze. So maybe we'll block this off over here. So there's really nowhere to go other than right through here. Yeah, I think that's a good way to do it. So let's go ahead and cover that back up and yeah let me do the upstairs part of the uh of the how to get around and stuff i don't know what i'm saying i don't know how words works a lot of times so forgive me <laughs> Ugh, stupid i also need to come up here i need to bring some redstone over because i'm going to make a uh a flashing light which you will be able to see hopefully from over the shopping district here when it's nighttime and all that kind of stuff so maybe I could do that real quick just to get that thing working. Let me go get my redstone stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, so it's storming here, so it's kind of a perfect thing for it. But you can see that light flickering every once in a while. And also there is, there's a trap door up right over there. So I got to go take care of that too. Um, But yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, yeah. That's down. All of these are down. Yep, okay. So I can't get back up there because my... My ladder is actually blocked by the thing making it work, so I can't get back up there. But what I can do is get rid of that ladder and block that thing off. And yeah, that, that part's done at least. Okay, I finally did it. The interior of this haunted house is done, and it is actually 12.30 on Halloween. So nothing like waiting until the last second to get it done. So when they come in, I actually just announced it on the uh, server too, so I don't know if anybody's going to show up right now or not. But when you come in, you got to read the book, so let's just go ahead and go through that. Welcome, weary traveler. If you're looking for a place to rest your head for the night, I'm afraid you've come to the wrong house. You should turn back the way you came, as there have been some strange noises coming from this house lately. I can hear things opening and closing by themselves. The light in the tower has been flickering for days, and I hear some, I heard some blood-curdling screams last night. This is no place for a timid soul, but if you feel up to it, please head inside and see what you can learn. Maybe there are clues around, but be careful. There are rumors of a murderer in the area. So we're going to go ahead and set that back and then come on in. So when you come in, yeah, I decorated this all up. There's a little bit of blood splatters all over the floor. There's pictures on the wall. You've got this kind of thing here. And then there's something on the floor. It says, hint, look in the chest. So you look in the chest. The rumors are true. You must be careful. Danger could be anywhere. So obviously there is a murderer around. So you just got to be careful. So when you come in here, ooh, jump scare right there. I already actually saw one person come in here and they said it scared them. So that worked out pretty good. But yeah, I got this place just decorated a little bit. I'm not very good with interiors, but I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. Just kind of putting things where they where I think they should go. Um, you see that right there? That's poltergeist activity right there. That thing is opening and closing by itself. Plus, there's a sword on the floor here. So, And there's another body right over there. All right, so in here, a murder weapon was left behind. Is that a poltergeist opening that? I wonder what is upstairs. So let's go ahead and head upstairs and find out. All right. Looks like they caught the murderer. He's trapped in the next room. And he's right there. So, okay, there's there's more murders back this way, though, because there's a head right there. Nothing in that one. Check this one out. Another murderer? Maybe there is more than one. Another murderer? Maybe there is more than one. Catch him before he escapes. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I can't even read my own writing. But yeah, you come in here. And then you got a bedroom in here, more poltergeist activity inside here. There's a head, but no body. Yeah, I was looking for a body when I came in here because there's a head over there, but no body out here. Let's come around this way and let's see. 
Were they trapped in this room? They escaped through the floor. Follow them. So you come over here, and sure enough, there's a hole in the floor. So you jump down there, and there's slime so nobody gets hurt. And there's like wood pieces on the ground, and it looks like he broke through here. And then quick, they went through the maze. So you gotta head through the maze. Now I'm gonna try to do this by memory. Um, I'm probably not gonna do a very good job. I already think I screwed up. Oh, I think, I think we're good so far. This way. It's pretty bad when I made it and I still don't know the way out. Pretty sure this is it. Yeah, we're right. Okay, this is the way out. So yeah, you get to the end of the maze. This part's not done yet. The outside isn't done. I believe um, that Creeper Box is going to come finish this too. Uh, they're going to do a whole bunch more landscaping around here. But yeah, come over here. It looks like the murderer got away. I didn't see which way he went. Hopefully some clues will turn up and we can find out who they are and where they went before they can hurt again. Keep a lookout for anything suspicious and I'll do the same. So that's it. Now that's kind of leading you to believe that there's something else coming. And there is, but I'm not going to talk about that right now because... I haven't completely figured out exactly how I'm going to do it. But yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a murderer mystery for these for the other uh people on the server to play. So that should be pretty fun. But yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you how I plan on doing it or just yet because it's it's in the future. It's not going to be anytime soon. But maybe there will be clues just randomly randomly thrown about. But yeah, that's that's the whole thing. So I hope you guys like that. That was pretty cool. Um, right now it's uh 12:38 and we are actually fighting the dragon at one o'clock for the first time. Nobody's fought the dragon yet. They just kind of uh, uh, just went across the void. They just blocked the dragon when he came by. And uh, they just they can go get an elytras and shulker boxes and stuff without even killing the dragon. So yeah, pro tip, you don't have to kill the dragon to get all that kind of stuff. But I've got pretty much everything all set up to go. So I'm going to head over that way and meet up with the other people that are going to go kill the dragon with us. So I will meet you there. All right, so we definitely went and killed the dragon. And my recording was a little weird because there was a lot of lag. I was... uh. It was hard for me to, like, see. I kept, like, pausing and stuff, so it wasn't a whole lot of usable footage, but we're going to go ahead and try to do a time lapse of it just to see what it looked like. And, yes, I did end up getting the killing blow. All right, let's check it out. Alright, that was a lot of fun. We definitely had a good time there. Thanks to Lucy, Teller, and Jeep for coming with me to kill the uh, dragon. But that is all the time I got for this episode, so if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.